Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome to a quick video today here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and this is just an update video really regarding a topic that lots of you have gotten in touch with me about over the last couple of days and it's all to do with the weather with the add-ons some of you use in Microsoft Flight Simulator, in particular the Phoenix A320 and also Rex has also been hit by the unavailability of metadata. data. Now, of course, we as virtual pilots get the meta, the weather information, also the forecast as well, so we can plan our flights, know what runways are going to be in use, that kind of thing, wind direction, be able to do the briefings. But it seems that we're not actually able to get that information, particularly in the Phoenix aircraft at the moment. On the Phoenix EFB, you're used to being able to just hit the meta button and get the meta, but there it is, not showing. Of course, you will still be able to get ATIS information if VATSIM is online and VATSIM Air Traffic Control have provided it. So, of course, that's one way of getting your weather. But here on a remote Greek island where I'm currently sat, there's no data available. And this is all down to the NOAA website. So a couple of days ago, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration website, which provides metadata for countless different organizations, actually updated their website and with that also the API. So this is what has actually broken some of the add-ons that we use. As I say, the Phoenix aircraft no longer is receiving metadata and also Rex Weather Force has also been affected. Now, one of the good things to know is that Microsoft Flight Simulator itself, with its live weather data, clearly doesn't get its information from uh, the NONA, or if it does, they have very quickly updated the systems so the API is all working correctly, because live weather in Microsoft Flight Simulator is not affected. So if you're flying with real world weather, not only will it be depicted in the simulator correctly, but you can also use the weather tab to get the meta for the airport that you're flying to or departing from, etc., as uh, shown on the screen. Other things that haven't been affected affected users of SimSmart also can get the weather data as well and also Navigraph is still working absolutely fine. So there are multiple ways of getting the weather data you need. However, how is it done in real life? Because as nice and easy as it is to have the tablet, the EFB, just downloading all the metadata at a click of a button, well, it's not entirely re realistic to have it done that way. For instance, when you're doing your takeoff performance calculation, the real performance software, FlySmart, doesn't have the grab live weather button. Instead, the pilot has to input it manually. The same with the arrival performance. Obviously, this is broken at the moment in Microsoft Flight Simulator due to that website change, but the pilot can't just download this information when they're at 30,000 feet because, well, there's not always any internet. So they have to get the weather information and tap this stuff in to the EFB performance calculator manually. Now, obviously, in a simulator, we're sat at home, we've got the internet, we've got apps on our phones, we can get the meta for any airport in the world at the touch of a button. But if you want to do it realistically, Microsoft Flight Simulator does allow you to do it the same way that real pilots do. And that is, of course, by getting the ATIS information. Now, if you fly on the VATSIM network or any other online network, you'll be familiar with the ATIS information, but it doesn't mean that you have to be flying on VATSIM or IVAO in order to get this, because ATIS is available for every airport in Microsoft Flight Simulator as well. And you can access this by just tuning the radio frequency to the ATIS frequency. This is done and shown either using the ATC control panel in Microsoft Flight Simulator or simply look up the ATIS frequency on your Navigraph charts if you use them and tune to it. Have a listen. Visibility, nine and heavy rain. Sky condition, few clouds at 1,800 feet, few clouds at 4,800 feet, few clouds at 13,800 feet. Temperature, one five. And you can check that this is, of course, accurate weather information because the timing of the ATIS message is given at the start of the message 
and of course as we've already said live weather in Microsoft Flight Simulator is not actually broken it's working absolutely fine so this is a great way of doing it realistically and of course you can do this when you're in the air to get your arrival ATIS information as well and know what the winds are doing so you can plan for your arrival so there we are that's a current issue that is affecting a few add-ons in Microsoft Flight Simulator but hopefully showing you how you can get around them and in some ways actually do things a little bit more realistically thank you so much for watching I do hope you have found this video of some use if you did like what you saw then please do hit the like button of course you can also support us further using super thanks if you wish and of course if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any future videos and of course our live streams thank you for watching i'll see you all again in the next one bye bye for now